I feel a lot better after today's loss than I did after uh, Monday's win in terms of um, the team that we put on the floor. I thought uh, our post players worked really hard this week in practice at uh, defense and, and toughness and um, being able to execute our what we're trying to run offensively. And I thought uh, there was a tremendous improvement, um, willingness to improve on their end. I thought we were um, continue to push the ball well. I thought uh, we had more patience uh, in the half court offense, which is what we were looking for. And I just I I thought our level of competitiveness was um, was much greater than it was on Monday. Lots of good things to build on. Mark, can you just talk a little bit about how difficult it is to guard someone like Charlie Sledger Walker? And you hold her to ten points in the first half. Second half, she has twenty six, and mm -hmm. really was the driving force for the comeback for Washington State. How hard is she to guard? And you know. How much does that change, trying to have to change your game plan mid-game just because she started to play theater? Yeah, she's, I mean, she's a Naismith candidate for a reason. She's, um, uh, her size and strength, uh, we, we needed a, a big guard or a small forward to be able to guard her and put a little bit more length and athleticism on her. Um, we've still got a couple players out with injuries, so our rotation isn't in a, in a place where we were able to do that. So, you know, I thought, uh, we, you know, we tried to make an adjustment, kind of trap her and, um, you know, get the ball out of her hands coming off of some screens. And then, you know, we're kind of late on our traps. So, you know, she's a, a you know, a, a really difficult player to guard. She's got great change of pace. She's got a nice shot. She can attack the rim. She can post up. So uh, it presented a, a ton of challenges for us. And, um, you know, really she was a, a difference in the game in the second half for sure. And then through two games, Joanna has – would say struggle to her level of normalcy. What do you need to do to maybe get her back in a rhythm, or is it just early game jitters and she'll figure it out that she's that kind of player? Uh, you know, I think a, a little bit of both. I think I'm not worried about Yo. She's a phenomenal shooter. She needs to um, figure out her rhythm and figure out where she's going to get shots from. Needs to be on balance on the shots that she takes. Um, I think she is really trying to, to do a, a great job of running our offense the way we'd like it to be run and cutting with the ball and playing without the ball in her hands so much, which is a little bit different for her. Um, I think it's just going to take a little bit of time. Um, but I am I have no doubt in my mind that she is going to you know be the scorer and be the three point shooter that she's been over the course of her career. Um, and she does so many other things now. Her freshman year, you know, she wasn't able to do as many things other than score the basketball, make three-pointers. Now, now she can defend. She rebounds for us. Um, she's communicating out on the floor. So she does a, a ton of other things. That's why, you know, we got her in for 37 minutes. Um, you know, her shot will come. I'm not worried about it. And, you know, I need her just to not be frustrated with it and press too hard. Sometimes that, you know, that uh, makes it worse. So she'll be fine. Well, I think, you know, a, a good chunk of the second quarter, um, we had their post players in foul trouble, so we were playing against some of their second string post players. I think our offense, um, we, we were cutting and moving and, move, and sharing the ball really well. I think we came out in the second half, and uh, I think we were a little bit fatigued. Some of our post players a little bit fatigued, so we didn't move as crisply. We didn't share the ball quite as well. Um, that led to us have it, taking more difficult shots. Um, you know, I think we weren't able to get as many defensive stops in the second half. In the first half, we'd get a stop and we could score in transition. Second half, we didn't get as many stops, so um, not as not as able to get some of those easy looks over the top. Um, but you know, I think Washington State played harder in the second half. You know, they came out and they, I mean, they traveled. They didn't have a shoot around this morning, so you know, I think they got their legs under them in the second half, and I think they were mad that they were down at halftime. So. You know, a combination of things. But end of the day, I think, you know, at the end of the third quarter, if we make a few layups there, we had some, some open layup shots at the end. And I think that uh, could have changed the, you know, dictated better some of the, the things that happened in the fourth quarter. What's kind of your takeaway from Deborah's game the first couple of games here? I know it's someone we didn't get a chance to see all too much in game action. So kind of what are your thoughts on her? Uh, I think, I, you know, I, I think Deb has tremendous potential. I was, I was really pleased with her effort. Uh, today, uh, I thought she went out and she played very hard. I thought she played um, mindfully. I think you know she was able to 
um, you know, execute the kind of the game plan and the scouting report until she got fatigued. Um, I thought she got some really nice rebounds for us and you just continue to work to finish those shots against big, bigger players. Um, but I thought overall, I was, I was really pleased with her performance and I think there's a lot for her to, to build on and to keep getting better as we, you know, ultimately this is all about preparing us for the WCC. So hopefully she'll continue to improve over the course of the non-conference schedule. Just a general, uh, how much does a game like this, you're competitive against a Pac-12 team, not only give you feeling better, but just things you can learn from and use forward, like you said, going into WCC play? Yeah, I mean, that's what we talked about after the game in the locker room, that uh, just lots of lots of good things to build on. You know, we've the fact that we're able to, um, you know, do some things in practice during the week and then have those um, those things, you know, our play in the game reflected the work that we did during the week. That's always a positive thing. Um, you know, I think playing against, you know, this is an NCAA tournament team the last two years. And, and everybody back except one player from their starting five. They finished second in the Pac-12. You know, they're a very good team. And we, we were right with them and had opportunities to win the game if we execute a little bit better and defend a little bit better. So, you know, I think, you know, like I, like I said before, we're, we're trying to improve every game. Non-conference schedule, we'll, we'll have, we have to learn from this, have a couple of days of practice, move on, get ready for Troy, learn from Troy, move on to the next game and the next game, but ultimately trying to prepare us to be playing our best basketball um, during WCC season. And I think we got a, we have a lot of really good pieces if those pieces continue to, to want to improve and to work very hard to do that. Up front, um, the 44, 43-43 rebounding last year, that was a sore spot sometimes. What do you think of the effort from the team rebounding? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think, you know, I think Kennedy Dickey, um, both games has made a, you know, a concerted effort to get on the boards and to um, be physically uh, tougher and stronger and, you know, just go mix it up and get in there with bigger players. And so I think she's had a double-double the last two games, um, you know, and Deb, Deb has the ability to get in there and get rebounds. I think our guards, um, you know, we're going to rely on kind of a team rebounding effort. And, you know, I think Lauren... Um, tried to be tougher. We need to, to get some consistent rebounding from Lauren. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I think that we added pieces that that should <clears throat> help us be more competitive in that area, certainly. Anything else?